Oh, back with another one. This is uh, Buchanan State Forest, the uh, sidling hill um, tunnels and the old POW camp that was in this forest. Uh, I'm just walking around, ch checking out all the old ruins and stuff in the area. Like there's some old ruins there. And then over here in the woods, there's something that looks pretty cool. That's the way over this way. I think I said that right. I don't know if it's Siddling Hill or Sidling Hill. I'm not sure. But yeah, back in here is where the old POW camp was. And I feel it's starting to rain. Shoot a little video of this. You can send the pics later. Uh, here's 13. Like I guess somewhere, like it, it, there's, it, they're numbered. I guess somewhere it tells you what each number, what it was or whatever. But that's pretty cool. I guess those things just scattered all through the woods. Foundation or something right here. It used to set. Can you see it? Like we're actually standing in what used to be a building. You can see the foundation there and the foundation there. And it used to go a whole ways down in there. This used to be a big building from the uh, POW camp. But, yeah, pretty nice place. I guess there's stuff all through the, all through the woods here, scattered remnants of the, of the, of the place. Old ruins everywhere. Just gotta venture around and look at it, look for it. Like here's a little piece of the foundation. Something that sat right here at one time. Like there's this one and then there's one down in the Mitchell State Forest. The old prisoner of war camp, Camp Mitchell. That's a pretty cool place. I'll have to get that one. Make a video of that one sometime. But here's old foundation. Piece of 
just all through here. Another, another piece up here. This looks like it was some type of a fountain. That's what it looks like. Like an old fountain. That's pretty cool. Pretty wild. That's at uh, marker 14. I'll check this out over here. Huh? Alright, I want to see, look at this real quick. Got some more. Something pretty cool looking over here. Check it out real quick. And then we'll venture down that way after we're done. But there's some more stuff up in there and whatever. This is marker 18. So this is pretty much basically still a building almost. Yeah. So at least we can walk in this one. So this is pretty cool. Of course you have the idiots marking everything up again. Pretty wild. Them yeah, this is pretty much still. <clears throat> the only thing missing is the roof on this one. That's pretty cool. That's pretty wild. Check the side out. It's almost like it's like you can't even see it from this side. It's almost like a bunker underground or something. All right, so I'm gonna snap a picture of this right here real quick and then we'll venture on. All right, so we found the maps. I guess all together there's 25 different site locations of buildings that was here at this uh, World War II German prisoner camp. I would like to have seen this place like with all the buildings still here with stuff stick like everything still here. I wasn't even paying attention. I passed these maps right up when I first got here. So I'll take some steel shots of these. A lot of Ian's was probably here before. I was years ago, but it's been a while. So I want to snap some still shots of this here. There's, this is foundation here right at the parking lot. This is number 17 where a building used to sit. Jesus. The sign here. There you go. So that's 
where we're at and what this was. Like I said, I'm sure a lot of explorers was here. But it's just a cool place to, even if you was here, to you always find something different when you revisit places. Here's marker 21, or I mean 20, sorry. Starting to spit on us a little bit. A little bit of rain. So hopefully it doesn't come down too hard right now. Still camera in that tree. Mm -hmm. Alright, so once I find some more, I'll click on unless it starts raining too hard, but it's raining now, so I'm going to guard the guard my phone right now for a minute. Here's uh, 21, we're an old, founda or old foundation, we're a building, <laughs> we're a building, so yeah, yeah, we're getting stuck in the rain here, so. I'm going to have to stop filming here for a minute to see if the rain, see if the rain stops. This is 25. Something sat here. There's nothing left to this though. Whatever sat here at marker 25. Hopefully the rain holds off a little bit. Just a little bit longer. So, once we get to some good stuff, I'll click back on. Alright, so. We was down in through the woods. Looking around. It started raining pretty hard, so I couldn't record. Came across a couple little pieces of cement. Not much, though. But, uh. And we worked our way up through the woods over here. And now we are on the old stretch of the old abandoned turnpike. The old Pennsylvania turnpike. So we're going to get on here and check out the big tunnel. The old turnpike tunnels. Again, I was here before. I'm sure tons of people was. <laughs> But it's still cool. So, once we get down here, I think this stretch is 13 miles from the beginning back behind. Starts at Route 30. Goes through two tunnels. I think it's a 13 mile stretch of the abandoned turnpike. If I'm not mistaken, I think they closed this down. I forget what year it was, but um, because of the traffic jams, yep. they, they kept getting into, like bottlenecking. It was too much traffic jams when it got to the tunnels. So that's why they closed this down and rerouted. But here comes the rain again. Once I get in the tunnel, I'll click back on. Pretty soggy. The old PA. Turnpike tunnel. And they got this place all marked up and ruined in here. And spray paint. Sad. I don't know how much you guys are going to be over to see. Like it's so dark.
Yeah, this is uh, the longer tunnel, the second tunnel that we're in now. But it's pretty dark. I can tell that it's not really showing up on the camera too much. So I'll probably snap, take a lot of photos of what I can. But as far as uh, videoing, I really don't know if you guys are picking anything up or not. Again, I'm sure you people, like everybody, there's so many people knows about this place. Everybody's been here, so you're not missing much. But I figured I'm here, so why not? the other end of the tunnel. Yeah, the second tunnel is definitely way longer than the first tunnel. the tunnel here and I'll take some photos and I'll poke around a little bit and then probably head back through probably head back through the tunnels and uh, go back down to where the POW camp is so here's the I'm not into that type of stuff, but that's cool. Like that big one there. The painting you're looking at. So, here's a little room. There's that little dude over there. I see that little dude everywhere I go. Steps don't look all that good, do they? No, there's like no steps. <laughs> like it goes up and then that's it. Like there's, like there's no steps. 
like to get up there, but I can't do it. Huh? No way up there. All right, I'm gonna snap some photos in here anyway. Let's climb this, climb this mountain. Try to get up on the back side of the of the tunnels. So we're up top. This is still a cool place. Don't matter how many times you come here, it's still cool. Not, not cool seeing the garbage everywhere, but. Did you go down in here? Yep, yep. Shut up. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Tell me that freaking voice cut down in If they do, you can get in this way. That's the big fans and huh? big fans and everything. There's a right? doorway there, but no, I wasn't inside this one. I was inside the other one. That's what I asked you. Go down here and check the door. Downstairs first. What's that in there? Just like So, because I'm on it. So it is. We're inside of the inside now. We was just standing down there. photos in here real quick.
There's the big fans. Right there. Check that out in a minute. We're gonna walk over here real quick. Pretty money in here. Wow. Nasty. Somebody put a put a rock bridge there anyways. So that's cool. So Alright, I'm gonna snap some photos here and I'll click on. One of the big fans. Is it muddy on that side? Like it was over here? Oh. Well, we're staying on this side then. Yeah, this is pretty. Pretty messy. Right. Let's go check out. Okay, and that's we'll, we'll go down inside that in a minute once those people venture through and in there where we're going to go next as soon as they go. Top of the vent. Let's check this side out in here first. Yeah, we're up inside of it now. That's where, that's where it ends here. So we're gonna walk this back instead of going instead of going on the inside of the tunnel the whole way's back. We're we're gonna walk the top of it the whole way's back. Huh? No. Plus there's less people up here, so not as noisy. Definitely a lot quieter on the top going back than it is on the bottom. That's for sure. I hope you guys are picking that up on the camera. I know, I gotta pee. <laughs> See, down there is the inside of the tunnel where we walked through. We're just on top, on top of it now. not that painted up here that's good I mean you got some graffiti but not as, not as much as down underneath like in the tunnel
does it look like the roof's getting closer to my head? Oh. Huh? It does. It looks like the roof got really low. Like it's feels like it's closer to my head. See, down there's the the road. Down there's the road. Yeah, the ceiling got really low on us now. I have to walk hunched over. Like it really got low. This is more like a real tunnel up here. <laughs> yeah, the ceiling's not far from my head right now. I'm kind of walked, kind of walking hunchback right now. Which I don't like because it irritates my back, but... I don't even know if we're going to be able to get out the other end. Oh, alrighty. Well, that was the, uh, we went through the old the POW camp, looked around all the ruins there, and then we just went through the tunnel and then a little bit inside of the tunnel and up on top of the tunnel. And we just came back out the other side now. So now we're venturing back down through the woods, back down toward the uh, Here at W Camp is, but the the upper part, the upper part of the tunnel, like you can go through the tunnel and then if you go inside and get up inside of it, up on top, you can walk good straight up and down for a good ways. But then the ceiling gets really low and you're kind of like hunchbacking it the whole, like it keeps getting lower and lower. And uh, yeah, that sucks bad. But it was cool to see the coast. It it's cool up there. It's, it's neat up on the top, but just uh, it was rough on the back being all hunched over like that. And it, the ceiling kept getting lower and lower. But we're going to walk back down into where the camp is now. I think. I think there was, I don't know if it was part of the, I don't know if it was part of the POW camp. I don't think it was. I think it was like an old, uh, an old house or something like that from back in the day, but there's an old ruins right here. It's all collapsed. 
caved in and smashed. But I'll show you that real quick. They just had anything to do with, like I said, with the POW camp, but um, I think it was just like an old house or something. Maybe that sat back here after that or whatever. But it's all it's all collapsed and smashed. So figured I'd show you that real quick. There's not much to it, just that little bit there. But uh, we're gonna head down, down into the, the parking pad where we parked, where the camp is, the old POW camp. And then uh, if I come across anything else, I'll click back on. If not, thanks for coming along on the adventure. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one. Okay, so I'm back looking for a uh, some more old ruins here in the forest where the POW camp was. And uh, it's supposed to be some type of old stone bridge or some type of bridge or something that we're looking for. So that's what we're doing, just cruising up through the forest right now. Looking for the uh, looking for the old bridge. Nice and quiet and peaceful back here. With a little mountain stream. Oh, okay, I see the old, I see the old bridge up here now. Took a while to get through that crap back there. We've been following a stream through the woods a good ways. But, uh, Finally, finally came to it. something if I had if I had some waterproof gear on I'd walk through that it's pretty cool I don't want to get my shoes and socks and that wet there today so that's pretty neat out here in the middle of the forest do it barefoot. Let's go up on up on the side here. Well, it's not deep. Huh? It's about ankle. So there it is. It's kind of like kind of like underground it's kind of like underground you can see where it's at it runs the whole length of this this 
So the other end's over there. Like as far as you can see, over there, that's the other end of the tunnel. Snap some photos real quick. Snap some photos of this place if I come across anything else. If I come across anything else uh, cool, I'll click back on. But uh, I want to get some photos of this real quick. Alrighty, so that was, I guess they call that the arch bridge, and that was, I think, part of the POW camp. It's just up through the forest a little ways from where the rest of the ruins are. I guess there's stuff probably scattered all through the forest here, but you just snoop around, poke around, and off you'll find them. But, uh, yeah, that was that was pretty cool. I was gonna walk through it, but I just didn't feel like getting my shoes and everything soaked today, or else I would have. So I just snapped some photos. But uh, alrighty. So this was a little bit of the POW camp here in the Buchanan State Forest, and then we walked up through the woods a little ways and. Went through the uh, turnpike tunnel, the second tunnel, the bigger, bigger tunnel. Went through it, and then we went inside and went up on top then and walked some of the top. But, uh, so that's, uh, that's pretty much, that pretty much wraps this one up. So, hope you enjoyed adventure. If you did, hit the like, leave a comment. If you know of anything in these woods that I missed or something else that you know about that I don't, you can leave it in the comments. But that wraps this one up and I'll catch you on the next one.